Hey everybody, I'm Rick Beato, and today's Everything Music, we're going to count down the top 20 two guitar bands. Now, when we're talking about two guitar bands, we're not talking about Van Halen. We're not talking about Led Zeppelin. They have to have two guitar players. And one of the criteria is, do you know both of their names? Do they have distinct styles? Do they both play lead, maybe? Before we get into it, I want to remind people to subscribe. I'm almost at 3 million subscribers, and 57% of the people that follow my channel are not subscribed. So 3 million more people that regularly watch are not subscribed. So hit that button right now. Coming in at number 20 is a band that was a staple of the 80s metal scene. Coming in at number 19, I don't usually have contemporary bands here on these lists, but I have some contemporary bands. This one in particular was right here in this studio two weeks ago. Coming in at 18 is a band whose singer is one of my favorite singers. He's an excellent guitarist. Matter of fact, he was here in the studio just about six months ago. Band number 17 has actually never made one of the top 20 lists, and people always give me a hard time about it, but in fact, my first band I was ever in covered one of their biggest songs. Coming in at number 16, well, these guys I'm friends with. As a matter of fact, their main lead guitar player has been on my channel a number of times. Coming in at number 15 is one of the biggest bands of the 80s metal scene. Coming in at number 14, this band has two great guitar players. In fact, I was in a band back in the early 90s that opened for them, and I was astounded when I saw them play live. Band number 13 has been on many of these lists for many different reasons. This particular one, the lead guitar player has a very weird style and the main riff writer and songwriter of the band is a killer guitar player as well. Coming in at number 12, this band has a really unique lead guitarist and part player. And the second guitarist is actually the lead vocalist and main songwriter. Say life will beat you down And it'll break your heart Steal your crown so starting out, for God knows where, but I guess I'll know when I get there. Thing. 
Band number 11 is also a band from the Northwest. They have two really unique players. One of them plays a Les Paul typically, the other plays a Strat. I think you know who I'm talking about. Okay, now we're to the top 10. I always say this, but a lot of the bands in the top 10 could pretty much be interchangeable, and you're going to probably argue as to what the order should be. But this particular band, the main lead guitarist of the band, is an old friend of mine has been on this channel. Swing to the symphony. Swing to the symphony. What is Coming in at number nine is a band that everybody talks about. Why don't you have this band on your channel? Why do you never talk about this band? Well, now's the time to talk about them. Band number eight is one of the biggest metal bands of all time. And their lead singer plays the hardest rhythm parts that I cannot play. And you know that from a video I just did on their top 10 riffs. Coming in at number seven, this band is a great two guitar band. I thought about actually having them even higher on the list. My brother John said that they actually should have been number one. Coming in at number six is a band that I don't normally talk about on this channel because they block videos, but I'll try it out. It may not actually be in the video though, but we'll see. Like that. Okay, now we're into the top five. Now this is really the case. Any of these bands could pretty much be interchangeable. Coming in at number five, this band is from the state of Georgia, where I live. Number four, you're probably going to think, oh, this is going to be number one, Rick's band number one. Now you already know what it is because I just said that. But coming in at number four is... <laughs> In band number three, the two guitarists have really unique styles. And one of the reasons that they're way high up on the list is that both the guitarists are great lead guitar players and great rhythm guitarists. Coming in at number two, this band had actually two different sets of guitar players. The last set, the guitar player's been in the band for 50 years. I think you know who this is. Okay, next. 
Next, I want to go over my honorable mentions because there's a bunch of them. These really could have all been on the list. The first of them being Swerve Driver. I love Swerve Driver. If you don't know Swerve Driver, I had Adam Franklin, the lead singer on my channel. You should definitely check them out. They are the best shoegaze band out there. The next band, the Black Crows. Black Crows, another Atlanta, Georgia band. They change guitar players out a lot. Their second guitar, they've had a lot of different lead guitarists in the band. That's why they weren't in the list. Polyphia. Tim Henson has been on the channel. As a matter of fact, the entire band has been here on the channel, and they have a new single that just came out. You should definitely check them out. And my last honorable mention is another band from Atlanta. Got a few bands from Atlanta. This is really cool. A band from Georgia, a band from Atlanta, and a second band from Atlanta. But two of the guys from the band are from my hometown, Rochester, Mastodon. Coming in at number one, these two guitarists have very, very unique styles. One of them is mainly the rhythm guitar player who wrote a lot of the riffs. The other one is one of my favorite lead guitarists. I think you know who's still left that we haven't done yet. That, of course, is ACDC with Malcolm Young and Angus Young, the two Young brothers rounding out this list. Leave a comment. Tell me what I forgot. If you think some of these bands should have been higher or not, you know what to do. Thank you so much for watching.